Ace hey, Girl K did come back out to you one more time. As you know, I'm your girl who give you facts and opinions about different like homeless matters. The reason why I can do that is because I used to be homeless myself and I also like to help people and you make them be aware of certain like services what's out there, right? Um, but this is like kind of like that today, but not really. But anyway, I don't know if you read an article. I put it, I think I put it on my community tab about, um, how we have so much empty buildings in New York City. I'm not even, at this point, it's not only New York. The situation what we're in from last year, a lot of businesses and offices and stuff like that are closed due to that problem. And as you know, for New York City, we do have a high population of homeless people and a majority of them are families. So is mom, dad, or just mom, most of the time it's mom and just the kitties who are just out here on their lonesome in the shelters trying to do their best and trying to make their life you know worthwhile and even not even just about the families because most of the time the families are in shelter if you just walk down some streets in new york city and a lot of big cities actually um you see a lot of homeless people on the street in tents on blankets some are there because they want to be there because they don't like the shelters rules and how they get treated and things like that some are there because of the immigration status some are there because they are mentally unstable or on drugs no matter what the problem is we need to make a solution of getting them off the street so if people who don't like to be in shelters probably just get them try to get them a house or not a house an apartment a place that they can call their own they have to be in the shelter system we have so many open places or abandoned buildings or these things in new york city we have i mean offices hotels now are getting more back into like you know fruition because you know of everything is kind of not, it's not as bad as it used to be it's still you know people are still still things are still happening let's get you know be real be honest about it things are still happening but it's not as bad as it was before so things are just trying it's best to come back to normal but the fact of the matter is certain jobs and certain things are not it probably won't i feel like certain jobs are not going to always fully go back in the office just because honestly people like working from home i'm not gonna lie to you some people some people need to work from home and some people don't need to work from home. Some people need to be in the office all the time, make sure their job is done, and making sure it's done properly, right? But others can work from home and still be able to do their job and still function, right? But because of this and because of rising costs of property and things like that, there's a lot of buildings out there, office buildings, and places like that was abandoned. Abandoned, right? So I think we should come up with a plan. And I feel like we have the budget to make these things possible. But it just don't, like, as we saw, like, in the last year, we had, we can get stimulus checks, we can get all these things to help. Granted, we needed those things, but they said they, before they, they didn't have an idea to get these things, we can't do it, we don't have the budget for this, we don't have the budget for that. But when push came to shove, y'all had the budget. So I think if we put these apartment buildings on old things, they have, if you watch YouTube videos, they have abandoned places in New York, in America. Like, abandoned buildings was like, they, um started making it but they lost funding for the certain project just like example american dream dream world i think it's called in new jersey that was abandoned a couple of times before they got it together and the building is still not finished so places like those granted you big budgets to do it you know what you should do not break it down just make it suitable for people to live in and get people off the streets and not have to be living in squalor that's basically what it is we need to take people and out of the shelters and then and the thing about it this crazy thing to me is like if you look at how much money they put to give, because the thing about it, all right, most times it seems like shelters are just telling these pe the government, oh, our rooms are $4,000. And I could say this price because that's how much my room was cost, right? And it wasn't the, the bougiest room. I didn't have no stove. All I had was a microwave, a refrigerator, and um, the last shelter I was in, it was a bunk bed and a crib, right? That's what I had. And, and a bathroom for myself. Okay. For that space in New York City, I could have got a big enough, a big enough apartment for that money, right? So if they took all that money, they just shoving and shoving and shoving and shoving into shelters and put it into housing, we could probably close down a couple of shelters. We wouldn't have to pay that, and the money could go for somewhere else, like healthcare, <laughs> like really doing better schools in in low income neighborhoods. That's where we could put the money in. Because as you can see from the owner, a lot of schools need help. They needed help before, but you can see it definitely now that they needed help, right? So if we put the money, instead of putting it in the shelter system, shoving it in, shoving it in, I'm not going to say we're going to solve um, homelessness. Even though some countries, they're almost solving it. I don't know what's wrong with America, but we almost there, right? So 
if they can shove the money somewhere else and develop these offices probably old hotels abandoned buildings in new york but people are not using i'm not saying if it's abandoned building that's like has cracks in it um or um bad um plumbing just put people in there no fix it up make it be the part of the standards that we need it to be and then put people in it don't put them from shelter to shelter and thinking it's okay and it's not people need homes family needs homes because at the end of the day after these families you know whatever whatever they stay there for a while kids are growing up in the shelter system that's our future we have to look out for our future and the only way to do that is by giving them proper housing so they can feel safe and secure and be able to study proper and have their own space and a place they can call their own their own so guys let's make it our you know our duty to use their voices even on social media saying that stop making shelters stop giving money to shelters you know they, they need the money i'm just saying but use instead of giving up shelters all that money cut the budget in half a little bit and put it into proper housing and don't put oh just put it in bad neighborhoods they can put the housing no put it in proper neighborhoods where kids don't have to walk outside and be ducking because they hear gunshots that's not what we need we need these developments to be in proper neighborhoods and the neighborhoods where are having those problems help them out so they don't, can be better and just have you know a better life for themselves and their family so guys Thank you for watching. Thank you for being awesome. And I see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>